Hi everyone, today we're going to be doing a nail tutorial and this is because I'm inspired to do a video but don't look the part today so do forgive us, we're going to do some nice nails and I'm going to be using those two colours we're doing Sally Hansen's Hard As Nails it's the black look I've been using a lot of Blackout and I think it's Rococo it's beautiful now this thing unfortunately doesn't work on its own so what I'm going to do is I'm going to be putting it over the top of the black, I give it a good black base and it will really pop. So, off we go. I've already started by priming the fingernails with some Ridge Filler. I'm using this by Opie. I don't usually use it, but to be honest, taking the nail varnish off and seeing the state, not good. So, if you're going to do your nails often, they're going to go yellowy because they don't get the air that you usually would if you had them natural. So, let's go. We're going to start with, I've, thought, I've already put the ridge filler on. Let's go in with some Sally Hansen. This, I cannot fall, I cannot fall in the slightest. And I, I'm not getting paid to do these tutorials at all. These are just something I really want to do. I got a load of OP and China glaze sent for free to do the videos, but I'm not getting paid for to do them by anybody. So, anyway. So, first I'm going to start by the black. And what I'm going to do is, I might need to zoom you in. I haven't done these very much before, as you can tell. Zoom you right in. And I've put this there so that you can see on top of. It's for me, really, so I know where I'm going. So you want to just get your brush. You want to load it up as much as possible. And you want to kind of just wiggle it back and forwards. Bring it down. And I like to leave a gap around the top part where your fingernail and skin is. It gives that more manicured look. Now I'm not a professional on these. I did study a tiny little bit of it at college. But I didn't stay long enough to be honest. Because I didn't believe in some of the things that I was taught. I.e. what they do is. You know scraping the cuticles back. And all the different things that go on. And it really wasn't as much interest as I thought it was going to be. So I quit. And I just stick with my makeup part. But the things were getting crazy, so I never even got to attend that much. But I'm just getting that black on. Made a little bit of a mess. I'm just going to take that off my nail. So you got your first nail done. And that could be tidied up out there. So I'll just get a bit more on the outer corner. So you've got a nice shiny black. And then we're going to go in with this one as well. And I might do some more of these if you want, so let us know your feedback on it. Just pulling that right over and then around. Now you might need one or two coats of this. Now bear in mind I'm going over a ridge filler. So my nails are already based if you like. And it does need a couple of coats, but once you've got your couple of coats on, you cannot fault it. It's brilliant stuff, Sally Hansen things. Just gonna go back over. Now I notice when you put the ridge filler on or any base, if you've just took your other nail varnish off, then you will have a kind of greasy texture if you don't wash your hands straight after put taking it off with the nail varnish remover. So the base is good for that. So I'm just gonna go over there and I'm gonna also cut it as well so you're not having to look at the whole thing. And I'm only going to do this hand so it keeps it short. Got lots of different things coming up. I'm going to be showing you how to put the individual lashes on as well as false bull ones in all different looks. So you've got, I'm going to show ones for the office, one for evening, ones for wedding, and we'll go through different ones. You've got a nice little thing going on there. And then I'm also going to do contact lenses. And I'm also going to show how they're put in, how to take them out, and how to keep them clean and neat, ready for another use. Because you can use them a lot. Some of them are disposable. But you can still get quite a bit of time out of them. So don't worry about that. Just getting right in there. This isn't, this isn't to show you how to do your nails perfect. This is just to show you how different ones work, to spice them up a little bit, what to put with them. Just again, some ideas, just like the makeup tutorial. 
so nothing professional about them but if you're interested and you enjoy them well I'm over the moon so I'll get this one painted in quick now if you like me and then they'll snap mine go funny sometimes because they're not very healthy the amount of nail varnish I use a lot of now I need to do this side here as you can see so let's go back in the jar I think I'm only going to need this cotton of this because I'm going to be putting I'm also holding it up with my other little finger just to get right in there there you go Pug is having a dream. I can hear her squeaking. She's on the floor squeaking away because she's been fed too much and she was a pig in the kitchen. So, oop, I've just pulled a bit of that off on the wire. Well, isn't this a great starter of a tutorial? Just get rid of that. Now, leaving the dry a little and I'm going to come back. Right, so they've dried and now I'm going to go in with the Rococo and I'm going to do a couple for you. So, start with your little finger and we're going to just gently lift it up with your other finger, the other little finger. Get a nice amount on so that you don't have to go back over with the brush. Because I think it's best to go on with quite a lot. And then we're going to just gently run this over the top like that. And you can see if you look, it's got like a 3D glitter. But isn't that pretty? This is what I am absolutely loving right now. If you've got any other ideas, let us know. I'm still doing normal tutorials, but these are just little extras for you. Because sometimes I don't get as many as I'd like up in for you. So, let us know your thoughts. Get this on that one as well. And it's just so beautiful, the colours. See? Take like a 3D glitter, but seriously, on its own, it doesn't work so well. So, I'm really enjoying putting over the black for the intense intensity. And we'll get this one done as well. And then I'm going to put over the top of that some top coat, which will just make it shiny for longer than it would be. So I'm just getting that all over. And it's just so pretty. Isn't that gorgeous? Now, if there's any, actually, I don't mind buying nail varnish in for the visual purposes and stuff. So, if there's any nail varnishes that you'd like to see, let us know, and I'll see what I can do. And at least I'll be able to show you, so you can try before you buy, if you like. Because there's nothing worse than buying something because it looks good in the bottle, and then finding out that it's actually not that good. So, onto the thumb now. Get right in there. Now, because of the ends, they're a bit shattered, I have to go over doubly, just so it's like a thicker edge. Because they're different stages, because sometimes when your nails get very long and they're not very good, they split and they lift up and this, this, they tend to go into like two pieces, which isn't good. But, there's all different things you can use and I'm going to try and show you some of that as well, healers for them. Now, for the top coat, I'm using Opie Top Coat. And this is just going to make it shiny lovely. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just wiggle them a little bit. And I'm going to go in and finish off. This doesn't need to be put anywhere special. Just filling it on. Just drop it on basically. Let it find its own way. And it gets that lovely shine. So just drop it on and let it find its own way. It doesn't even have to be applied properly. You can just go with the flow. So plenty out the jar. They just drop it on. And it keeps the shine for longer. Protects the nails from chipping for that little bit longer. Because so that's what we want. We all want nice nails that last a bit longer. And I hope throughout this you've been able to see all the colours properly.
getting a good amount on there like that and there you have it beautiful shiny black nails and I absolutely love the shimmer on them They're just so shiny any black under there would do so don't worry about that if you don't have the Sally Hansen stuff and to be honest a lot of black nails with different colour type of things like that on top always go well so I really hope you enjoyed my first nail varnish tutorial in a long long time for more to come I hope you enjoy zoom zoom